We all love our music. There's no denying that. We may even sing along when no one's looking. Hell, might even quote unquote throw that ass in a circle, if you will. Some of us have no problem dancing in public, no matter how good or bad. It's pretty common. Some of us will even sing along in public, once again, no matter how good or bad. There are some people who have a harder time coming out of their shell when it comes to singing and dancing. And it makes sense. People are harsh these days and it's normal to care a little too much what people think. However, on my daily journey through the internet, I found one man who has decided that life is too short to give a fuck about what other people think. So sit down, grab your favorite flavor of G Fuel, as I give you a brief introduction to the YouTube channel of our beloved Buff Carell. Carell Coy Buffer II, also known as Buff Carell, is a 37-year-old YouTuber, aspiring dancer, singer, and bodybuilder. Part of the army for three years, thank you for your service, coming back and wanting to find his goal in life, he turned to YouTube. I'll leave a link to this video of him detailing himself so you guys can hear it from him. Starting his channel on September 7th, 2011, he uploads to YouTube with strictly covers of songs in which he sings and dances simultaneously and uniquely depending on the song. I know what you're thinking, there's hundreds if not thousands of YouTubers who have channels dedicated to covering music that they and their fans enjoy. Now what makes Buff Dog so special? For starters, he can dance. This shit is clean as hell and is always pleasing to watch. I'm serious, this man has some moves that all of us can envy. Here's where things get a little weird. He can't sing. Like not even a little bit. But something about his enthusiasm makes it not only bearable, but entertaining to watch. He starts his videos with an enthusiastic ramble, starting with his one of a kind intro. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Buff Krill, baby, back with up to the love. You don't have to go down as your boy Buff Krill. Do tell, do tell, baby, do tell as we get. And then random phrases going off the song title or artist name. Side real quick, slide to the side, let it ride. As we slide to the side, we're gonna let it ride. Anyways, we're gonna get to uh, Tame Impala. I got the name right this time. I had a, I looked at this live performance, so we're gonna eat you, la, la, la. Anyways, Tame Impala, let it happen. You know how you do, we don't let it happen as we get to rapping. As we let it happen, Captain, Captain Boulevard Streams. Boulevard Streams of Golden Dreams. And the ready, set, go just before he starts singing is what I believe to be him mentally preparing before he performs. <laughs> The song will start up and he'll start dancing and it's good, but the singing just isn't there. However, his confidence is unparalleled and he doesn't let this stop him. Let's go to December 29th, 2013, Buff's second upload, a cover of Beyonce's Drunken Love. This is nearly six years ago, and this is before he started dancing as much, and is more focused on the singing. He doesn't not dance at all, but it's just nothing compared to his more modern content. Anyways, the point here is that this video received a lot of hate, and the internet kind of did what they know best, and just took a shit on him in the comments. Many questioning why he has pictures of himself on the wall and just criticizing his voice. People really missed the mark on this one. I find it puzzling as to why people didn't find it funny. Why take this man so seriously? This is his most viewed video and also his most disliked. Modern comments on the video state things like, Buff, I'm glad people appreciate your art now, or 2013 was not ready for this legend, and truly ahead of his time. Despite the overwhelming hate, he continued with his channel uploading covers, with a few minor viral hits such as Toto's Africa and Paramore's That's What You Get, he maintained a steady upload spree over the years up until modern day. Now, I'm not sure exactly why, what, or when, or how Buff got into my recommended, but I know that this was the first Buff video I ever saw, his cover of Never Meant by American Football. I was immediately overwhelmed with laughter and enjoyment. I was so envious of his confidence and his attitude. He really didn't have a fuck to give about anyone's thoughts. I look in the comments to see nothing but words of encouragement and positivity. We must protect this man at all costs. 
This is what YouTube was made for. I literally watch this video once a week to cheer me up. It was amazing seeing how much love was being spread through his comments. Now when I said buff upload steadily, I really meant it. Currently standing at 1027 videos and no signs of stopping, he clearly cares about his audience. Now 1027 videos means 1027 songs. That's a lot of music. As I searched the battles of his channel, one video struck me in particular. His cover of Fleetwood Mac's Hold Me. Now this is literally my favorite Fleetwood Mac song. The only thing about it, it's one of their lesser known songs. You won't even find this in their top 10 list. That means either A, he really likes Fleetwood Mac, or B, someone requested it for his channel. He clearly takes requests by his viewers because as I stated before, he gives a fuck about his audience. Now I've really never felt so happy for another person being so comfortable in their own body. But holy shit, I'd be too if I was as jacked as he is. We can all learn something from Buff, and that's to be yourself. <coughs> uh, one dash of cliche later, and you've really got a living inspiration to us all. What Buff is doing for the YouTube community is unparalleled and almost an anomaly at this point. The people of the internet have had such an extensive history with being so crude when it comes to these kind of things. Let's take the Star Wars kid for example. He received disgusting and over-the-top criticism that would make any person feel terrible about themselves. This raises the question, is the internet changing its attitude towards this kind of content? Now, I can't answer that for the whole internet because there's still haters on the internet, don't get me wrong, but it's something to think about. Going to the comments of a recently uploaded video of Buff, and it's nothing but comments like, you live in my dream state Buffy, heart emoji, and bro, please never stop, I love your work. Currently standing with over 100,000 subscribers, I think he's on his way to something great. That's all I have to say about Buff Carell. If you haven't heard of him before this video, definitely go give him a sub and enjoy his amazing content. I'm sure you can find at least one song you love on there. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching.